A few years had passed after the Tournament of Power in which Universe 7 had won victory. Everything was peace and harmony because all the universes were balanced in power and there was no threat in any universe. Meanwhile, in Universe 7, Goku and Vegeta were training on the planet of Beerus. That's right, it achieved an extremely incredible power. Goku and Vegeta, what do you want to achieve by becoming more and more powerful? The only thing we want is to be the most powerful warriors in all universes and that no being can front us. That's right. It's our only goal, since the Saiyan race had not known defeat. Mr. Goku and Vegeta, you have already surpassed the power of an angel. Your power is so much that you can even give the great priest an even battle. We know, Mr. Whis, but we will never know if we need a great power or if an extremely powerful enemy appears. What the fuck is going on in Universe 7? Why is everything shaking? At that moment, the entire universe shook in an incredible way, making even the deities shake. Not only them, even Goku and Vegeta, who were the most powerful in that universe. What's that tremor? At that moment, an incredible pressure fell on all of them. It was an amazing power. Goku and Vegeta passed their doctrines using a large part of their powers to be able to stay on their feet, giving Whis and Beerus some energy to that they would be able to stay safe. This power... This incredible key is from Frieza, and he's fighting against a very powerful being. What? H how can it be from Frieza? That's an incredible monstrous power. I'm not sure who will emit such great power, but what I know is that the being I'm fighting is an incredibly powerful warrior, since I can't feel his key. Just know f how Frieza's key decreases rapidly. It's better to go check who owns this great power. Goku would use teleportation, leaving with everyone present to the place of the battle. Flashback, the Emperor of Evil was touring the entire universe. That's right, since the Tournament of Power has ended, he had undergone rigorous training, and being a prodigy, the power he attained was incredible, being capable of even obtaining a new transformation called Black Frieza. In one of his trips through Universe 7, he found a peculiar planet, he would go down with his entire crew, however at that moment, a key sphere would make his ship blown to pieces. Who the hell do you think you are, you fucking vermin? I will kill you for not knowing how to respect the Emperor of Evil, the Great Frieza. At that moment, a strong blow would make him fly hundreds of thousands of kilometers. The power of that blow had been overwhelming. He had been able to even send the Evil Emperor flying thousands of meters. What pathetic power you have! With that insignificant power, you call yourself the Emperor of Evil? The power of his blow was from another world! Even with my training, that blow hurt too much! He, Frieza, would say to himself. Frieza, realizing that the being in front of him was not an ordinary warrior, would go to his golden state, which was already powerful enough to defeat an angel with little difficulty. Now you regret making my way! <laughs> Don't make me laugh, damn cold demon. I have annihilated so many beings of your race. They're nothing more than simple scum. Frieza, at an incredible speed, would give him a strong blow to the face. What do you fucking think now? Did those Sirius have a power as amazing as mine? Sukomi would take Frieza's arm, squeezing it with overwhelming force. Frieza would raise a large part of his power to try to get free of said subject. However, it was not enough. Sukomi was about to rip off his arm. But at that moment, Frieza decided to release all his power. A great light invaded the entire universe. Black Frieza would have appeared on the battlefield, being able to hit him and make him release it. That blow was good. So you have a lot more power. I'll finally be able to use a little of my power. It's been millions of years since I've had a battle like this. You made me resort to using all my power. In this universe, there was no such powerful warriors. Who are you? I'll tell you, because in the same way you won't be able to leave this place alive, I'm the god of the destruction of Universe 15. For some strange reason, ten years ago the six remaining gods have come back to life, and we were only waiting to recover a part of our powers to bring down the king altogether. And I'm Siokomi, the god of death. Frieza was a little surprised by what he said, but remembered the wish of number 17. I wish that all the universes erased by Xenosama would return to normal. Damn, now everything makes sense. 
By the wish of that wretch, these gods have come back to life. But how do they have so much power? Not even the cursed beer is considered the most powerful god of the universe has had such m power as this wretch. You must have thousands of questions. The only thing I could tell you is because we were eliminated, we, the six remaining gods, we are the descendants of the former king of everything. But unlike the dwarf Xenosama, our father dominated negative energy. So what all he wanted was to destroy all the universes. Xenosama's father faced off against our father, where they both died. Millions of years later, the useless Xenosama became the king of everything before we are one threat to exterminate us all. Frieza could not believe what the god was telling him. I don't care if you're a god of destruction or the god of a king of everything. Right now, I'll kill you. Frieza would begin with a great attack. Frieza was thrown against said god. However, his blows seemed like paper since they did not make a single scratch. At that moment, the god increased his power a little, making all that universe tremble. Finish flashback. Goku and the others would have arrived at the planet where they were fighting, and to the surprise of both, they observed how Frieza had achieved a new transformation. However, he was on the ground very badly injured. I can't believe it! Frieza's power is incredible, but that being is humiliating him as if nothing! Beerus would begin to tremble as looking upon said subject. You, you, you are. You are Tsukumi, the god of death of Universe 15. This can't be happening. You've been eliminated by the great Zeno Sama. Tsukumi would give a strong blow to Frieza, setting him to fly far away from that place. And he would turn to look at Beerus. So, Beerus, damn cat, you're still alive. You have pathetic power. You were one of the candidates to be part of the Revelry's gods. You had the power similar to ours. What happened to your incredible strength? I decided to seal my negative energy. I don't plan to be an annihilator of universes like you. Tsukami would take Beerus by the neck quickly. That's right, he was suffocating Beerus with incredible ease. At that very moment, Whis, Vegeta, and Goku launched their attack to help Beerus. However, their blows were in vain. I can see how you have two Saiyans at your side, but if I compare them with the power of Orochi, the evil Saiyan God, they're nothing compared to him. Goku, Vegeta, and Whis were sent flying with a few blows. Tsukumi, from a few simple blows, would leave them very badly injured. Mr. Whis, Frieza's power will be useful at all this time. Please, heal all his injuries. Whis would use his staff, healing all his injuries. At that moment, Goku and Vegeta would do the fusion, bringing Gogeta Mega Instinct. Gogeta and Frieza were preparing to attack said subject, who had left Beerus on the verge of death. Gogeta and Frieza launched the attack, but they would do nothing against said subject, whose power was from another world. Leaving both warriors on the brink of death, Tsukumi was going to annihilate everyone present. But at that moment, an incredible event occurred. Tsukumi would fill his hand with energy, with the intention of ending Gogeta's life. But at that very moment, Frieza would stand in front of him, being pierced. In all this time, I've realized that you simple monkeys would be my motivation to becoming more powerful. So escape. I'll take care of stopping it. Gogeta would be surprised by Frieza's act. Frieza would go 100% of his power in his transformation, with which he went wild to try and kill time. Frieza, Frieza I'll never forget, forget this. this. I, I promise, promise to, to bring, bring you life with the Dragon Balls, balls you have earned my respect. respect. Gogeta would take everyone present, taking him to the palace of the kingdom at all. Meanwhile, Frieza would continue stalling for time, or Tsukumi would take him by the neck. <laughs> it doesn't matter that you've made time for those damned ones. You still kill them with the rest of my companions. Now damned death. Tsukumi would carry a large sphere of energy in his hands, disintegrating Frieza in the process. Meanwhile, in the Kingdom of Everything, everyone would arrive very injured where Daishaka would come out to receive them. Being astonished to realize that most of the powerful beings had been defeated, Daishaka would go to heal them so they could tell him what happened. Now that you're cured, tell me, what happened to you? Especially you, Mr. Goku and Vegeta. Your power rivals mine, and with that fusion, you're able to defeat me. I cannot believe the power of that subject must have been so that you have ended up in such conditions. Father, the subject is the destroyer god of Universe 15, the powerful god of death, 
Tsukumi. Though Shaken would panic hearing that name. W -w -w what did you just say, Wiss? That is impossible since the king completely eliminated them with all his power. Are you sure of what you're telling me? That's right, father. Apparently, with the wish of uh, ten years ago in the Tournament of Power, not only the twelve universes came back to life, but also the six universes that had previously been eliminated by the king completely. If Siokomi is as powerful as even defeating the mighty Mega Instinct Gogeta, I can't imagine where the six gods come together. It would be a catastrophe. At that moment, Xenosama would come out of his palace. The only option is that Goku and Vegeta merge with the Potara earrings, and I merge with the new being, so they'll possess the power of a king of everything. Everyone was surprised by the words of the great Xenosama, but these, knowing that it was the only option, would accept it. At that moment, the powerful Vegito had appeared in the Kingdom of Everything. Without prior warning, it would go to its Mega Instinct, being able to withstand all of Xenosama's power. A light would make all 18 universes shine, and an incredibly powerful power would arise, the curiosity of one of the rebel gods who was in this universe resting. So, after millions of years, a worthy opponent has appeared. Our battle will be legendary. I'll have to use my demon Super Saiyan. That's right. Vegeta would have merged with the great Xenosama. His clothes had changed to those of a king of everything, and the power that he gave off was unreal, leaving everyone present surprised that Shaken would bow. An honor to meet the new king of everything, great Vegito-sama. Beerus and Whis would do the same as the High Priest. They were both surprised by such monstrous power, but they would also bow. Meanwhile, in an inhospitable place in the 18th universe, a warrior would stand up. The power of that being is incredible, and apparently he's a Saiyan like me. I look forward to the day when I must face him. Returning to the Kingdom of Everything, Vegeta would quickly teleport to where the Emperor of Evil, Frieza, was standing against Tsukumi. However, when he arrived, he could only observe Frieza dead on the ground and Tsukumi perched in front of him. Who the hell are you? Your power is incredible! A being like you, like him, could be in this? Tsukumi would not finish his sentence since, with a powerful blow, Vegeta would make him spit out blood. However, Siokami opened the opportunity to also give him a powerful blow which would make him go back. I won't forgive you for killing Frieza. I'll exterminate you with my own hands. You have an incredible power. I cannot deny that. But do you think you can beat me? Siokami began to increase his power in an amazing way. Being able to shake the 18 universes, the power of this god was so much that even his other brothers were surprised. So, Tsukami, the god of death, plans to fight against the power that was felt recently? <laughs> this will be interesting! I must strengthen myself with the celestial bodies of those 18 universes and the energy that the sun gives me. Tsukami will die. You won't be able to defeat that being. His powers are equal. But the subject will be a Saiyan. Instead of decreasing his power, it will increase. I have to immediately go to that place and bring Siokomi with you. As order, sir. I have to would leave the Universe 18 to Universe 7 at maximum speed. Returning to the battle, both were evenly matched. That's right, even merging and possessing the powers of a king of all, he wasn't sure he would win the formidable warrior. At that moment, Siokomi would start laughing. <laughs> I see that you have great power. But if you really compare you with my other brothers, you have no salvation. They never had salvation since we came back from the dead since we want to revive our father. Vegeta would be a bit surprised to learn that the purpose of these subjects was to revive the being that was capable of killing Xenosama's father. Vegeta began to attack with much more power, however this was not enough since Yokami followed him this step and they both gave each other very good blows. Meanwhile, on planet Earth, everyone knew that nothing good was happening in the universes, since they felt that it was even difficult for them to breathe. The power that's fighting is from Vegito! Apparently my father and Mr. Vegeta have merged, and we can't leave them alone with Mr. Piccolo! Gohan would go into his beast mode, which he had trained in all these years. Gohan's spirit had returned. 
Piccolo would go into his new orange Piccolo transformation and both would leave the planet and put up a great barrier. At that moment, they began to fly at incredible speed, being able to reach the battlefield in a few moments. The battle was very even. Neither of them gave up, but at any moment, a being with an aura of fire, it would hit Vegito, sending him to fly a few meters. Ayato, what are you supposed to do in this place? I've come for you, Seokami. Jamura has asked me to come to you. Apparently, he doesn't think you'll be able to eliminate this guy. Don't say stupid things. I'm able to eliminate this trash with a few more hits, so don't interfere. Exact same moment, Piccolo and Gohan would arrive, who would stand next to Vegito. Piccolo, Gohan, what are you doing in this place? Dad, we also trained so we could feel those great powers, and when we felt his essence and that of Mr. Vegeta, we knew that you had to use the fusion. The two of us will take care of the other warrior. You take care of that guy. However, at that precise moment, Tsukami increased all his power, but likewise, he would fall to the ground, knocked out. Everyone would be a bit surprised, seeing that the new being that has arrived was able to knock him out with a single blow, surprising everyone present. I'm not interested in fighting with you now. I'm not interested in fighting with you right now, but become much more powerful, since the three Saiyans of our family will want to fight against you. Gohan was going to say something, but at that moment, Ayato would disappear from the place, along with Tsukami, they had to return to Universe 18. Now tell us. Who the hell are those guys, and why do they have so much power? Vegeta began to tell them everything that had happened, leaving Piccolo and Gohan in shock. Because by the wish of Seventeen, the other universes had returned, what they did not know was that even a universe much more powerful than the 18 universes together was still sealed. That's right, Universe Zero. The beings of this universe were the evilest and powerful beings of all the universes, and they were erased by Zeno-sama's father. However, they were about to come back to life with the technique forbidden. Vegeta would return to the palace together with Gohan and Piccolo. That's right, the three warriors would comment on everything that had happened in the battle. This is bad. If the same Jamuro wants you to become more powerful, it must be something is up to him. Who is Jamura? Jamura is the most powerful Saiyan known to date. He and his other two brothers have a transformation never seen before. The Super Demonic Saiyan. Demonic, Demonic Super Saiyan? What the hell is that transformation? According to rumors from millions of years ago, it is a transformation that in exchange for great power, devours your very soul. But if you're able to master it, you will only lose your humanity, but you will keep your life. That's not a benefit! It's fucking crazy! Daishenken, arrange for an urgent meeting with all the gods of destruction! As commanded by King of Everything. Daishenken would quickly leave for each of the universes of the destroying gods, reporting that the King of Everything requested an emergency meeting. All the gods went to the King's Palace of Everything, being surprised to see a new subject. Whom is he supposed to be? And why does he wear the garments of a King of Everything? These are the most powerful mortals of the Twelve Universes. Goku and Vegeta merged, and Xenosanama himself merged with them due to the approaching threat. This is incredible! So they are Goku and the other Saiyan became the new kings of everything. Everyone bowed. After a few moments, Daishenken went on to explain everything that has happened in the 18 universes. The 12 gods were surprised. So, I ask you to lend me your power. I need two more warriors with great powers. I want the gods and angels to merge, so Whis and Beerus will do it. Beerus and Whis began to do the fusion steps, bringing Beerus to life. Everyone was surprised. Vegeta would have told them a technique so that all the gods and angels form a single being and that in a hundred years, they will return to normality. They all accept. They all began to merge from one moment to the next. The destructive energy was incredible. Lightning and thunder fell throughout the king's castle completely. A new subject appeared with an intimidating appearance. His name was Archon. It was the fusion of the 11 gods together with their 11 angels. Weirus would continue apart. Being the most powerful god, his capacity was much greater. Now, pray to master all that power, since the final battle is about to draw near. But at that very moment, a being would enter the realm of everything. 
His speed was so much that no one was able to notice. Not even Vegito. Said being would put himself in the middle of all the deities. Wow, wow. So they're preparing to face us. I hope they can do it. By the way, it's nice to see you again, Daishenken. Apparently, you haven't changed anything. You're still just as pathetic as last time. Daishenken, remembering that Jimura murdered his wife, Mikoshin-sama mercilessly launched into the attack. However, this one-fingered being stopped Dishokin's attack, Jimura would stare at Daishenken, and with his eyes alone, he would have given him an infinity of blows, leaving him very badly injured and out of action. Vegito, with his maximum power, would face Jimura. What do you want in this place? All our team universes can live peacefully. It's not personal, but all of us want to revive our father. I won't allow that. For being with so much negative energy comes back to life, it will be the end of the 18 universes. No, it will be the end of everything that exists. Isn't that funny? Jamura would disappear returning to his universe. Everyone would be left with psychological damage, knowing that not even with his incredible power, they were able to face that subject. Meanwhile, in Universe 18, a tremor would make everything rumble in its path. Now, what the hell are you getting, Orochi? Brother, I want to fight. I can't suppress my legendary power anymore. If I don't fight, I feel like I'm going to explode. Okay, Orochi, give me 24 hours and I promise to find your worthy opponent. It's all right. Dramura would send a message to all the kingdoms. In apparently 24 hours, my brother Orochi wants to fight with an extremely powerful being. If there is no one to fight him, Orochi will destroy the 18 universes, including all the inhabitants. In the kingdom of everything, everyone was upset, knowing that they could do nothing against them. However, at any moment, a very powerful goddess would appear in front of them, calling Amatsuru the goddess of the sun. I know that what my brothers do is not correct. The truth is that they were corrupted by my father's negative key, and the only thing that they do is his will. And until he comes back to life, they will not be calm. Why are you telling us all this? Aren't you our enemy too? Or is this a trap? Of course not, Saiyan. I have never liked killing. I have always done it by the will of my parents. But I'm tired, and if they return to the 18 universes, you will be involved in total annihilation. Personally, the third general, I will train them. Daishaken would be surprised to learn that in front of him was Amatsuru, the goddess of the sun, whose legends say that her aura is so fiery as to kill a king completely in a matter of seconds. Amatsuru would create a room in which time passed in a much slower way, and she had abilities to increase her power in a surprising way. You, come with me. You will be the first one I train, since your hidden potential is much greater than that of all those present. Only you will be able to face Orochi, one of the demonic Saiyan gods. Amatsuru and Gohan would enter said room to strengthen her powers. Amatsuru and Gohan entered said room, which was for Gohan's hidden power to explode in an incredible way which was never seen before. Both subjects began their rigorous training. Meanwhile, in the Palace of Everything, Vegeta thinking about everything that happened from the knowledge of Xenosama, Vegeta would know of the existence of other kings of everything, of other multiverses, and of a creator god, who was the first existence, the first divine being of the entire vast universe. If Zenchan's knowledge is correct, this is Multiverse 6, and it is the least developed of all. The only beings with great power are the rebellious gods, which are the offspring of the god of death. Daishaken would enter the palace, giving Vegito important news. Vegito-sama, one of the rogue gods is here, and wishes to speak with you. Who's here? Wouldn't Orochi come in 24 hours? It's only been 12 hours. As Vegito would come out of the palace, he was able to observe Orochi, who was observing him with a murderous look. Orochi had not been able to take much more and decided to launch the attack against the new king altogether. I want to fight. I hope you're powerful enough or I'll kill you. Orochi would go to the legendary Super Saiyan with which, with a furtive blow, he would make Vegeta crash into the palace destroying a part of it. Vegeta would go Ultra Instinct, with which his power had increased too much when merging with Xenosama. However, for Orochi, this power was not enough. 
That's right, the power of Orochi could be said to be compared to the king of all of the multiverse too, since his power was enormous. Damn, this guy is going to kill me. I can't do anything against him. You turned out to be an insect, which didn't even serve me as a warm-up. But at the moment, when Orochi was about to deliver the final blow, Vegito managed to stop that powerful blow with one hand, and something incredible would happen. Vegito would go to Phase 3 Mega Instinct, with which he would send a strong blow to Orochi to fly, and a powerful air wave would send him into space to a remote place far from the 12 universes. So you had that much hidden power. Were you underestimating me? Of course not. Just now I managed to achieve this transformation. You left me no alternative. So at this moment, I'll put an end to all this. Let's see if you can do it. Orochi would begin to increase his power, and an incredible negative aura would come out of his body. Orochi was transforming into a powerful demonic Super Saiyan. His appearance didn't seem to have changed at all, but from one moment to the next, his eyes would turn red and their hair black. At first glance, they seemed to have returned to their base state, but the power that they gave off was amazing. What? That power is disgusting! How many beings have you killed to have that key so stained with blood? That does not interest you. Thanks for this battle, but I will end your life. Orochi, at a speed that Vegeta was barely able to observe, would dodge a powerful blow, which would have knocked him out. The power of this god is incredible. Compared to the aura of Amatsuru and Tamura, the Saiyan wants to destroy everything that exists. I can't allow it. Even if my body ends up in pieces, I'll exterminate it. Vegeta began to push his body to the limit. The veins of his body seemed to explode from so much effort. Vegeta was going to end Orochi's life with a single blow. However, at that moment, his hope would end and hit him with such a sneaky blow and he wouldn't give him a single scratch. What characterizes the legendary Super Saiyan is his unlimited ki. Even in his transformation, my ki and resistance don't stop increasing. Orochi would give him such a powerful blow from Vegito, which would throw him to the ground, losing his transformation. Th th this is impossible! I can't believe the level that separates us. His power really is from a supreme being. Orochi was approaching Vegito very slowly, and he would charge a great power in his last blow. With a said blow, he planned to end Vegito's life. However, with all hope was lost, a new light would appear, blinding all the present. What had not happened in millions of years, a king from another multiverse entirely, would have come to help a colleague. Who... who are you? I am the king of Multiverse 3. My name is Rei Itadori, killer of kings. Vegeta would remain unconscious at the moment. Orochi launched himself at the new subject that had appeared, throwing an accurate blow to his face. However, when Orochi first contacted it, his fist was enveloped in a very intense fire, which not only burned his body, but also killed the internal energy. Who the hell are you? Millions of years ago, there were no beings with this great level of power. This is a very bad joke. I don't care if beings like me existed or did not exist millions of years ago. The only thing I know is that this place will be your grave. Elemental, body of fire, carbonizes. Ray's entire body was engulfed in flames, that even the entire palace was being distorted by such firepower. Ray, with a single blow, had been able to pierce through Orochi, which, since he had revived 10 years ago, he just felt the most agonizing pain of his life. How could a simple king of everything do this to me? I can't believe it. It's unforgivable. If you beg me for your pathetic life, I will never forgive you. Orochi, with that hole in his stomach, would stand up, trying to increase his power, but at the moment, he made all the key flow out of him. His body was charred. Char! Burn all the veins of energy through the power flows, and if they are not repaired and try to accumulate power, they have no choice but to be charred. Ray, with a snap, would repair the entire kingdom of everything and help Vegito. After a few hours, Vegito would wake up very confused. Where are we? And Orochi? What happened to Orochi? Don't worry. Everything is better now. Just relax, and everything will get better. 
Vegeta would relax a bit recovering all his energies. Meanwhile in Universe 8 with Jamura, he would stand up, damn Orochi had died. I can't believe it. His power was not weak at all. Even if those garbages were together, should not be a match for Orochi. Right now I'll kill them. However, in his mind, the voice of the God of Death, his father would rumble. Don't be hasty, Jamura. Your brother's power is with me now. He will live in me, and thus my return will be much faster, since gods like you have large amounts of energy. I understand, father. So what do you want me to do? Nothing for now. Just get me food. I need powerful energy to come back to life. I understand, father. Leave it to me. I'll get you the power of kings completely. I trust you, my firstborn. The connection would be severed, at which time a new goddess would have arrived with Jamura. You noticed the death of Orochi? What the hell is happening? His power was not weak at all. No one from this insignificant universe should be able to stand up to him. Don't be hasty, Toya. Orochi's power was unbalanced. His bloodlust led him to death. How can you be so calm? He was our brother. I don't care who he was. Right now, I'm going to annihilate him. Meanwhile, in a very special room, Matsuru was training together with Gohan, who had already managed to master his beast mode 100% and get a new transformation, or rather, the doctrines, but being in his mystical state, his hair did not do it. It was neither gray nor purple. His hair turned green. It was the most powerful state with which he was able to face a Matsuru, one of the most powerful rebel gods. You have become very powerful, Gohan. It's not enough. But with this power, I know you'll be able to defend whatever you love and help me purify my brothers. Of course, teacher. Take that for granted. I'll do everything in my power to bring them back and everything is as before. Gohan and Amatsuru would come out from the room of time, realizing the presence of a new subject in the kingdom of everything. Ray watching Amatsuru would be shocked. You! How can this be true, Amatsuru? Ray, is it you? I thought you were dead with the annihilation of Xenosama's father and my father. No, Amatsuru. I was able to survive. But they took me to a multiverse 3 because my power is not compatible with this multiverse. Some time later, I became the king of everything of said multiverse. Do they know each other? Of course, yes. He and I used to date millions of years ago. He dominates all fire energy and solar energy, and my power grows with infinity stars, especially with the sun. When we were fought together, no one was able to stop us. One day, Ishiru and Matsuru's father realized our relationship, and with his negative energy, he unleashed it throughout the universe, not allowing Matsuru to absorb solar energy. He left me on the verge of death, but my savior stood in front of me. Little Zen's father saved me. Vegeta would be very surprised by what was said by both gods. Uh, Matsuru, I didn't know this angers you, but at this moment, we ended the life of Orochi because he was out of control. I know what is best for my brothers. When they are fully purified, I want to revive them with the Super Dragon Balls without the desire to kill. It was a pleasure to see you again, Amatsuru, but I must return to my multiverse since I must also protect it. But do not forget, if one day you're in danger, think of me. And it does not matter if I'm in hell itself, I'll come to save you. Ray would go to his multiverse. At that moment, Vegeta would realize the enormous power that Gohan had achieved, being surprised. How did you get so much power, Gohan? Your power surpasses mine easily. I can't believe it. The training you had with Matsuru was the hardest training I've ever had. It's my turn to train. Now, I'm also not going to become very powerful. Vegeta would enter the dimension of time to train on his own. But what they did not know was that Xenosama merged with Goku. His evil part had been released millions of years ago so that Xenosama became the king of everything. He had to maintain a pure heart and for that, he had to eliminate the little bit of evil that was in it and seal it to the external seal of darkness, since if a part died at that time, both did. But after millions of years, both parties are completely separated. His counterpart was preparing to exterminate everything created by his father, and with his power, he is sure to defeat the rebellious gods, since with his mental power, he would do that, 
His guards merged with this. A certain day, an incredible power made the entire palace rumble completely. That's right, Xenosama had merged with his guardians, going into his combat form with which few warriors were capable of doing him front. I hope you're prepared, since the beginning of the end is about to begin. I'll start with the cursed one who has a part of my power. That's right, I'll start with you, Vegito. Xenosama's evil counterpart had been born that way. With his mental power, he was able to make the Guardians give him their power and thus merge with it. Meanwhile, in the Room of Time, Vegeta was training very hard. However, at any moment, he would see a scene who would tell him, You! You are the salvation of all that Omniverse! You have the offspring of the first Saiyan God and the blood of a Creator God. Please do not fail us. Omniverse! Creator God! What is that supposed to be? And who are you? Excuse my lack of respect. My name is Chemis, and I am the fourth descendant of the Saiyan God. We thought that his legacy had come to an end with the death of Yamoshi and the old Saiyan God. I don't understand anything. Please explain yourself. What am I supposed to do? I can see that you don't have bad intentions, but I still don't understand anything. To the six gods that you are going to face, correct that they are descendants of the God of Death. However, if we compare them to the descendants of the negative creator god, they are like children at his side. He is about to come back to life, and if that happens, neither I nor anyone else will be able to defeat it. So what do we do to avoid his revival? All of this was because Xenosama fused with you. The eternal seal had slight damage, but the power of the negative creator god being so much, he was able to take advantage of said opening. I understand. So, should I make said seal again with the other kings of everything? That's right. But first, you must become much more powerful. I'll take care of that. You're a Saiyan like me. You shouldn't be ashamed of your primitive form, since it is the most destructive form that all Saiyan possesses. Do you mean the Azara form? I don't understand if the Azara transformation only made my power multiply ten times, unlike the Super Saiyan which multiplies it fifty times. I can see that you don't have any experience, you're partially right, but when you reach the divine rank things change, since the Uzara mood is much more difficult to master, and this means that its power does not multiply even 50 times, not 100 times, your power will multiply 500 times more. Whoa, what? Did you just tell me? That's impossible! Ever! No transformation is capable of multiplying your fighting power so much! It's a damn joke! I have already told you what is necessary, since you possess the power of a king of everything. Make your tail grow again. Dominate said state. Combine both doctrines to obtain a, the heavenly Super Saiyan 4. I have just revealed a great secret. Camus would disappear from Vegito's mind, leaving him with doubts about everything he had told him, since it was impossible, however the essence of Xenosama would be present. Vegito, don't hesitate. Do what Kamisama told you. Do you know who Zenshan is? That's right. Kamisama was my father's teacher. He was the being who taught him everything he knew. And even until the day of his death, he was never able to face him. And a being saying like you, knows all the strengths and weaknesses, doesn't hesitate to do it. I trust you. Vegeta realizing that the words of said being were not to be underestimated, he would take the new training, which consisted of mastering his Ozaru state. Meanwhile, outside the room of time, everything was flowing normally. However, at any moment, a noise would shake the whole kingdom completely. That's right, Zeno somehow had arrived at the palace, or rather, he would have already released all his power. He was confident that he would not be defeated as long as Vegeta was not there in said place. This tremor would be felt by the 12 universes since Xenosama took precautions. He chose to put a barrier in the 12 universes so that the rebellious gods did not feel his power. Xenosama would appear in the kingdom of everything in front of Amatsuru and Goha. Both were surprised. Who are you supposed to be? Your essence is totally different from Xenosama that we know. You exude absolute evil. I'm the counterpart of that damn. The only thing I realized was that because of my idiocy, everyone was in danger. I should have never sealed them. I should have killed them with my own hands. But what are you supposed to say, Xenosama? And why do you have that appearance? 
Do not go towards a mortal, and for your question, I'll answer it because today will be the day of your death. This is my combat form, or rather, my true form, which was sealed to me being able to cut on half and split both as Xenosamas. Now I understand everything. You're not the Xenosama that merged with my father for nothing, and you will not leave any alternative but to kill yourself. I hope you have enough power to back up your words, you damn mortal. Xenosama moved at the speed that even Amatsuru had difficult observing, giving Gohan a big blow that would make him kneel in pain because the power of his blow had been supreme. Gohan, being in a state base, couldn't do anything. Amatsuru would attack, both having been in a very even battle. However, while Amatsuru attacked, she would say to herself, If it weren't for the help of the twelve sons of this entire metaverse, I would be able to face him. The thirst for revenge that this damned man has makes all his power really amazing. I can't believe it. At that moment, Xenosama would land a strong blow to her face at maximum speed. Divine slap. Die! Xenosama's hand touched Amatsuru, which would fly hundreds of thousands of kilometers through several planets in her path. The blow was so powerful that not even the planets that were in different universes could meet save. Uh, you forgot that I am a complete original king. Now that I know the source of your power, let's see what to do. Absolute darkness! Deborah the Infinite! A disgusting negative energy was released throughout the universe. Xenosama's power had been able to cover all 12 universes, including the 12 suns, which stopped giving him a Matsuru power. His power rapidly decreased. Xenosama, he was about to give the final blow, however at that moment, in front of him would appear Weirus. Gohan based his maximum power in the fusion of all the gods and angels who called themselves Archon. We are here to help you, Goddess of the Sun, seeing that you are willing to give your life for the Twelve Universes. We'll not let you die. You are important to us. Now I'll return the blow you gave me a few moments ago. You have the appearance of Xenosama from millions of years ago, but I know you're not him. So get ready. Even if we must die with you, we will. We will not let you end this entire multiverse. Ha 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 ha! I realize that they're nothing more than insects. Even if a hundred warriors come together, they will not be able to do it. Because a hundred ants will not be able to defeat a dinosaur like me. I hope you're sure about this. Now, divine combination! The three individuals had performed a technique that united both their souls and their powers. However, it was very different from a fusion since the power was quadrupled in each of the warriors. The trio of warriors began to beat up the warriors. Xenosama, who could do anything to defend himself, he was receiving the biggest beating in his entire life. What the hell's going on? I can't even see where they're attacking me from. The powers explode in the blink of an eye. The attacks continued like this for approximately 15 minutes, in which they were about to defeat Xenosama. However, in an over at sight of Archon, he was able to wound him to death. And at the moment of doing this, Gohan, as Weirus, would give a cry of pain. Oh, it can't be! Archon's been hurt! Divine combinations were not all advantages, since by combining their bodies, souls, and spirits, what one warrior felt could also be felt by the other. And if one of them died in one way or another, the warriors who are connected to said fusion died. It was a double-edged technique, and with both, they could cut each other. Wow. Wow. Now I understand everything. Just as their power is increasing by uniting in an amazing way, they also connect with each other. And what one feels, the other will feel. This is wonderful, because if I kill one, I'll kill three birds with one stone. Gohan and Weirus released much more power to be able to allow Archon to recover a bit. However, the energy drain was making itself felt. Meanwhile, in the Room of Time, a giant golden Azorin was destroying everything around him, since this would have no reason. Vegito, do I give my power to a being like he is not capable of mastering a simple transformation? I trust you, Vegito, to master all that power and save this Omniverse. Omniverso Zeno Sama. That's right, you're doing well. You can. Don't let the power control you. I trust you, Vegito. At that moment, an amazing light would illuminate all around him. A powerful and new warrior would have appeared. His appearance was imposing. From the top up, he had heavenly white fur. 
while his hair had purple and great parts due to the doctrines of Goku and Vegeta. I finally achieved it, but I can't believe the ki that runs through my veins. It's extremely unreal. Canvas was right. I could feel that my powers multiplied dozens of times. I don't know how exactly many, but even if it exceeds the Enhancer Saiyan. Now train said transformation since the energy drain should be abysmal. Vegeta began to train said transformation. However, when he wanted to return to his base state, he could not. Why can't I go back to my normal form? You cannot return to your base state because your power has now reached a new level. Now you'll always be in your most powerful state, and in this way, you'll be able to master this power correctly. I understand, so I'll train for a few more hours and save the entire multiverse which Xenosama sacrifice himself. Meanwhile in the entire palace, the warriors were very badly injured. The divine combination had left the three warriors on the verge of death, while Xenosama possessing literally unlimited energy was not so affected. I thought they would be better opponents. But they were nothing more than simple insects. I had very high expectations of you, but it's time for your death. On the other hand, in Universe 18, there was Jamura, who was very thoughtful since he had not had reports of Amatsuru. I don't think that cursed Amatsuru has betrayed us. She never liked our way of being, but we are his brothers, and if she did, we would be two fewer, and we are three left, so we must take things seriously. Meanwhile, in the time room, Vegito had already mastered his power 100% without having any energy waste. Vegito would leave said place feeling an extremely powerful key far away from them. Realizing everything, these would also be in space since Xenosama had completely destroyed the kingdom. Vegito would arrive seconds before Xenosama gave him the final blow. Vegito with a strong kick would send him flying. You did very well, Gohan. Don't worry. Now I take care of this. Vegeta would have arrived on the battlefield. He was furious to know that a counterpart of his great friend almost murdered his son and the goddess who helped them. From your appearance, I can tell that you're Xenosama, but due to your disgusting key, you're his negative part. You're right, damn mortal, and neither you nor anyone else will be able to stop. Xenosama was not able to finish his sentence because at that precise moment Vegito at a speed that even for a rebellious god was difficult to follow. Vegito in a matter of seconds would leave Xenosama on the ground very badly injured. What the hell happened? I couldn't see anything. Is this really the same guy who entered the room three days ago? How are you able to hit me? This is a damn joke. You can't have that much power. Right now, I'll show you the power that no matter how hard your effort in training, you'll never be able to achieve. Xenosama began to increase his power of him in such an amazing and bestial way that even everyone present was a little scared of such due power. That look, without any expression, is what I hate so much. You think you're better than any of us here, but this place will be your death, and I'll keep your power. Xenosama would throw himself at an incredible speed. However, for Vegito, it was not that surprising. Vegito was able to see each of his movements, and being inches away from hitting him, a strong pressure would fall on him. Absolute pressure from King Saiyan! Stop moving! Xenosama could not even move a single centimeter. His power was so much that even for a king of everything, it was something incredible to witness. Meanwhile, in a multiverse far away, to be more exact in Multiverse 1, there was a being with a peculiar appearance. Since at first glance it seemed like a normal human, this being was observing everything from a crystal ball. Wow, wow, apparently a new descendant of the original god Saiyan has resurfaced. Apparently his power is great enough to even humiliate a king completely in his combat form. Returning to the battlefield, Vegeta was massacring Xenosama, who did not give in. However, with each exchange of blows, you could see how this battle spear was decreasing more and more. What the hell are you? Even though my counterpart gave you all his power, I possessed so much more power. This can't be happening. You're correct. If I only face you with the power that Xenosama left in my body, you'd be able to defeat me. But I'm a Saiyan. I'm a warrior race. And every day we become more powerful. 
so I hope you're ready to die. Since at this moment, Vegito would move away and begin to charge a very powerful attack, with which he intended to reduce him to atoms. I won't let you exterminate me so easily. Receive this miserable Mega Universal Atom Wrecker! Let's see what you can do with this. That's not enough for my Super King Big Bang Kame! Kame! Increased a hundred times Divino! Both would begin to collide and the clash was so much that even the barrier that Xenosama would have put up at the beginning was cracking from so much energy. How is that possible that that trash attack has the same power as mine? I'm a king of everything! Xenosama would focus so much more power on his attack, however, it would not have been enough, as a laugh would ring out throughout the kingdom of everything. <laughs> this will definitely be your end, since I'm not even using 75% of all my power in this attack. Disappear! Vegito would be using much more energy in his attack, causing Xenosama's attack to lose and both attacks to collide with it, disintegrating it without leaving any trace. This is amazing! I finished off a king completely in less than 30 minutes! The power that this being possesses is overwhelming! Vegito would have approached everyone restoring all their injuries and their energies. Apparently, you have become very powerful, but just like the Saiyan race, our race is also very powerful, and our prodigies, I will train in said room and then I will fight you against you, great Vegito-sama. Okay, Weirus, but I doubt you'll be able to face me. Weirus would enter this dimension very focused on his goal, because he could not bear that a super god destroyer he called Beerus had been eliminated. He began with arduous training, being on the verge of death every day. Meanwhile, on the Multiverse 1, Kamicha was very interested in that warrior. He knew that with the help of said subject, he could end all the ambitions of the other's completely negative kings. Leviathan, come immediately. At that moment, a very beautiful girl would appear in front of the realm of the whole Multiverse 1. Tell me, Lord, is something that you want? I want you to bring the Saiyan from the multiverse of Xenosama. I don't care what method you use, but I want to have him here in front of me today. Of course, my lord, as you order. Leviathan began to travel between dimensions. She even caused some destroyed and others to be distorted due to the speed at which said woman was moving. Her power was so much that a multiverse less than multiverse 3 could not bear her presence. They would not spend more than 30 minutes in which an incredible tremor would make the multiverse of Xenosama shake. I can't believe it! Who is the being that gives so much power? This being must be an existence that is on the top of everything known and existing! In Universe 16, the super god of destruction, Zizor, also felt an incredibly terrifying power. Whom does all this power belong to? His power is so much that even in my demonic Super Saiyan transformation, I don't think he is able to face him. In the 18 universes, there were similar comments because the power of Leviathan was incredibly overwhelming. However, the power of Vegeta was not far behind, only that he was repressing 95% of all his power so as not to attract the attention of beings much more powerful. Leviathan would arrive at the king's castle of everything, entering through the main gate. Whom are you supposed to be? This is a divine place. Ordinary beings cannot enter. However, Leviathan at that moment would look at him again with a look so cold and penetrating that he would be frozen. Daishenken's body had been wrapped in very powerful ice, that no being in his same dimension of power was able to get out. That's what you get for being so impertinent. You're not talking to any being. You're talking to the right hand of the first king of all, Kamicha-sama! At that moment, Amatsuru would appear in front of her, being surprised not because she knew her, but because the pressure she exerted even made her instincts tell her to escape from that place. So, you are Amatsuru, called the goddess of the sun. Let's see how great your power is. However, Vegeta would arrive at an incredible speed, putting himself in front of his goddess. I can feel how your power is even greater than the king of everything in my world. Who are you? And what are you looking for in my multiverse? Leviathan would stare at him. So, you are the mortal who merged with the king of everything. Your power's not bad at all. 
You could easily take the position of the king of the whole of the multiverse 3. I'm not interested. I just want to protect my entire multiverse. So tell me what you want. My king of everything, Kamicha-sama requests your presence. At this moment, I'm indisposed. Inform your king completely that if he wants to see me, he'll have to wait a while longer. Furious Leviathan would attack, however the voice of his king would resonate in his mind. Stop, Leviathan. The power of that guy is not something you can face very easily. I can tell you for sure that if you want to win or not, come back, and in a few days I'll personally go visit that king. Leviathan, with his pride shattered, since even his king of everything had told him to abandon the mission, she would rise and very furiously return. But at that very moment, a new gigantic power would also be felt in the kingdom of everything. Weirus would have finished his training. I can't believe the hidden power of the gods of this generation possesses. Their power is so much that now they easily surpass us. I'm ready to face you. I know it will be a very close battle, but I am not going to give up. Come, and show me that you're worthy of being a king of everything. Vegeta launched at a speed that no one was able to observe. However, at that precise moment, Weirus would move at a speed much higher than Vegeta's, being able to give him a strong blow that was not able to observe at all. Apparently, Mr. Beerus and Wiss have increased their fighting power too much, and when they were refused, their power explodes in an incredible way. Vegeta would begin to increase his power in an absurdly incredible way. Now, not only in 18 universes felt such bestial power, but also the multiverses that were next to him. The power was so much that everyone knew that a new super king had been born at all. Meanwhile, in Universe 18, the last four rebellious gods were gathered, and when they felt such power, they knew that they had no chance against that power. The only thing we can do now, my brothers, is to merge with each other. This will be the last time we will see each other, but it will be for our father, the ancient god of death. The rebellious gods would agree. They began with a fusion, just like the angels and gods. These had not only merged their powers, but had also united their souls, forming a new being. The appearance of this subject was that of Zizor since he was the most powerful god of the rebellious gods and he would remain in full control of the body. I swear that I will not disappoint you, my brothers. I'll do your will. I will murder that damn Saiyan and I'll bring our father to life again. Zizor, with his new power, went to a very special room, which was a room created to be demonic. But since this being had demonic blood, he could access it without any difficulty. That's right. Zizor began with arduous training. Returning to the field of battle, the couple between two superfusions was very even. Mr. Beerus should never have been a normal god of destruction. His power goes much further than that. I'm sure Mr. Beerus' family are very powerful beings. Get this out! Destruction Sphere! Vegeta would charge a powerful final glow with which he would be able to disintegrate the god's attack and the attack would cause the planets to different universes to be involved in annihilation. So both decided to end the battle. I'm very surprised. Your power has grown in an amazing way and you'll be a great ally in this coming war. You are also king of everything. I never thought that a fusion with those Saiyans would make you so powerful. They would continue talking, but moments later in all six multiverses, a voice would rumble. No matter what they do, or how much they train, their destiny is death. Those who swear allegiance to me will live, while those who oppose me will perish. So I am Daisuke-sama, the negative creator god.